Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I created a product brand video in Camtasia. All right, so I'm going to play the video that I made for a client and then I'm going to show you how I did it. So here we go. All right, so that was the video that we created for a client of ours, and I made it in Camtasia. And this is the actual working project file that I have here that was for that video that I just played for you. So I'm just gonna go through and show you how it was created. So first thing before I even start editing is I need to find a song. So this is the song right here and the client wanted a specific feel with their brand and they did give some examples of actual songs like actual copyrighted songs that they did like the feel of and then obviously we need to find a copyright free song that we can use in the video so i did some searching on youtube and specifically finding a song with a saxophone that was copyright free so that's the first thing is finding the song then for this uh, first part here, this video right here, this first part was actually provided by the client. I did not make this animation thing. That was provided by them and I used it in the intro. And then I started adding this part right here, which are the, you know, the name of the company and then it's a bath and body company. So if you can hear in the saxophone, it makes some pretty awesome noises that you can do cool touches on. So I'll just play the first part here. So it makes like that noise, right? And while it makes that, I put in the exact same text and logo, but in reverse colors. So it starts off being black and white text. And then for that part, it goes white and black text and it does a really nice touch. Then I do some other text, how to get your purr on, that's kind of like their whole vibe. It's like a cat themed as well. So again, the same thing happens. And it just makes for a really nice touch. And that's mainly the beginning part of the video. Then this transition here, this is a new transition. It's called a whip transition and you can only get it in Camtasia 2019. I did not create this. Camtasia was awesome enough to create this. It's a very clean, very sleek, very cool transition, and it was released in the latest version of Camtasia 2019. So I added that transition, and then I go into the blue here. This is blue foam bubbles. This is stock footage that we actually did purchase because we wanted uh, very nice looking bubbles and I was looking around for the free on on YouTube and trying to get like a free version of this but I wasn't able to and we ended up purchasing this blue foam footage from a site called the Invato Market and they do a lot of different kinds of things and this actually wasn't too expensive so it was a very specific type of footage that we needed. So we got this footage here that was specific because it's bath bombs, so we wanted bubbles and we wanted bright colors because that's their branding. And then right here, all this right here, this was their products. 
So these were their, their different bath bombs and lotions. And originally, they came in like this with a white background. But I had to do the green screen effect to remove the color, which is right here. And you can find the green screen effect in remove color, visual effects, remove color, dragging it down, and then removing the white by using the color remover tool. So that's how we were able to remove the background on that. And then we have a sliding. All these are sliding, by the way. All these have behaviors on them. But then we have a sliding pink rectangle that comes in from the side along with the text of the actual product. So this is the name of the bath bomb and then like what it's made out of. So there's just two text pieces right there, the shapes right there, products right there, bubbles are behind it, and then for all these they all have different behavior movements and I used the sliding movement and I altered these three all move together and they all slide in in the same direction. This one, the product, slides in a different direction so I wanted it to come from the top and then go out from the top as well. So you'll see that it slides in just like this here. I have to do the, the manual keys here just because it gets a little bit glitchy when I'm recording and then have all these pieces here in the timeline. So you can see that it slides in there and I pretty much rinse and repeated the whole process for all of the products here. So as you can see, everything is um, nicely put down, all the same, so that the products can go interchangeably. And at the same time, you know, I wanted the video of the bubbles. We could technically had a picture of bubbles, but I wanted the bubbles to be, you know, an added effect of popping in the background there to show more movement. So that's pretty much what I did for the products. And then we get to the end. I do another whip transition so it spins again. And then we go to the ending card, which is where you find all of the product information, you know, the website and then the name. And it's kind of like an ending of the whole video. And then for the audio, I did do a fade out to the song because the song was actually longer. This video is exactly one minute. And this logo was provided by them. This is a shape that I matched to the logo. And these are just text pieces right here. Now, although this video is only one minute, this video did take me a long time. You know, it's definitely much longer to do these kinds of videos than a regular tutorial video. A tutorial video I can edit in less than a half an hour. This kind of a video did take me five hours or so just because you got to listen to it over and over again, play it, move things around, get a feel for it, do a lot of testing and playing. There's no fit uh, template for me like I do have on the tutorials that I can just do. So this is coming from completely scratch, complete creativity, and that's why it takes much longer. But look at the result. I'm really happy with it. The client was super happy with it. And they're actually going to be using this and sending this around to different companies, using, using it on their website, and so on. So that's how I created this product brand video in Camtasia. If you guys want to check out the Camtasia software, you can head it down to the description below. I will have a link for you guys. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.